So, in this tutorial, we're just going to have a look at uh, placing objects at exact coordinates. Uh, in this example, we're going to be placing the previously made ambush object at the center of each of these five little square locations. So I'll show you how to do that now. So, for doing this with SketchUp, you're going to need two things. You're going to need an extension called Point Gadget V2 which you can find on the extension warehouse alongside a word processor which I'm just going to use Microsoft Word so we can see here that uh, the center of each of these squares is clearly pointed out so what we're going to do is going to go extensions point gadget b2 and set origin once that's done we're going to go back to extensions we're going to go and shoot points what we're going to do for each square at the center, we're going to click, press escape, click, press escape, click, press escape, so on, so forth, until you've done that five. And we're going to go extensions, point gadget, and we're going to go point report. And this will give us a table with those exact coordinates. Uh, there's a few things to note about these, and I'll get into that in a second, but for now we're just going to copy them, like so. So, within a word processor, uh, you just want to paste the table, and it'll appear like so. And we can just get rid of this section, because the only things you're going to need are these three. Now, to note here, the Y and the Z uh, columns are like reversed. So you just need to correct this by doing the following, just swapping them around, whatever way is easiest for you. And the other thing that uh, Point Gadget does is that it reverses the Z values, uh, as in if they're positive it makes it negative and such. So you just need to change them to positive, or if they're positive you just need to change them to negative. And then you've got a complete table. Then you're just going to copy these three columns and the five rows, like so. So now that we have our values copied and we're in a KMP for our course, we're going to add the M-Dash object, which we had previously, like so. Oh, sorry. There you go, capital M. In the properties of this object, we want to add a blank one, like so. Select it. And then just hit Control V, and it'll import all of our values from previous. And as you can see, they're placed in the correct position. Rotation isn't too important because uh, I'm not too bothered, but you can put these wherever you wish. And then you just need to put it in game essentially. So now we're in game, we can see that the objects have been placed exactly where we want them, in the middle of the red square. Obviously the rotations are a little off, but uh, this is very effective with item box placement. And you know, any other objects you might need. Uh, that'll do for now. Thanks for watching.